struggling to cope after K Street. Nearly six months later, people who weren't even involved in that deadly night still living in fear. Sacramento's mass shooting shook people near and far, rattling a sense of security and changing lives forever. Tonight, I talked with a psychologist, not surprised that even months later, that anxiety has not gone away. From what I remember, there was like a, a body right here. Ashley Ford wasn't there that night, but she has vivid memories of the aftermath outside the Capitol bookstore where she works. There were blood splatters on the window. A mass shooting, her biggest fear was at her doorstep. From what I hear, people were just crammed as many as they could. People huddled in the store's alcove, hiding from gunfire. It took days before Ashley could even come back to work. Now, six months later, she still fears the next mass shooting. Even though I wasn't, you know, here on when it actually occurred, it again is my home away from home. It's my workplace. Would you see somebody even now, six months later, still having some of these symptoms? Absolutely. And again, it really has to do with how resilient people are. Dr. Angela Drake, psychiatry professor at UC Davis, says you didn't have to be at the shooting or even a part of it to develop a stress disorder. Six months is fairly new. I remember I wasn't even sleeping. Lisa Fine Cavalli just marked five years since she was at the Las Vegas shooting, the deadliest one in U.S. history. Sacramento shooting brought it all back. You can hear the screams, you can, you know, smell the air, the blood, um, just the visual, and it can bring up nightmares. Nightmares that Dr. Drake says can have an end with treatment. For years, we really didn't have outstanding treatments and interventions for these kinds of disorders, but we do now. Well, Dr. Drake says if you're still having stress symptoms, even hesitating to do things you used to do, you don't want to ignore them. Living with that stress can lead to chronic conditions and even serious health problems.